This is the Geica Supercube i3s, the world's first Bluetooth Rubik's Cube made by Xiaomi, a Chinese electronics company. A cube famous for its ability to wirelessly connect to an app through Bluetooth on either iOS or Android, tracking all your turns and your speed in real time. In the box, you get a micro USB cable and a charging adapter to charge the cube, an extra set of stickers, and of course, the cube. The cube comes about 40% charged and the charging time is one hour, lasting 30 hours of use. Firstly, I'm going to briefly go over its turning. The Gaiki cube has a bit of a heavy, crunchy feel, and it's not as slow as I was expecting it to be because of the extra weight. The stability is on the positive side, this cube doesn't flex around much and stays pretty blocky. However, the corner cutting is not great, but still somehow good enough for me to get only slightly slower than my normal average. Moving on to what we all came to see, the Supercube app. This app has four main parts. First, the tutorial section. Here you can learn how to solve the cube with a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide, showing you exactly what to do so you can follow along with your cube. This is especially cool because if you do anything wrong in that particular step, the app will let you know. Second, the quick solve. Here, the Supercube app will show you the exact moves you need to do to solve your cube because it obviously knows the state of your cube being connected. The cube will turn one move at a time on screen and you have to follow along in yours. Third, the gaming area. Here, there are four mini games that you can play with your Geica Cube. The first is Color Memory. Here, colors come up on the screen as stickers on a side in a particular order, and you need to try to turn the sides of those colors on your cube in that order. And as time goes on, more and more turns are required. Another mini game is Pixel Puzzle. Here, you make art with your cube on one particular side as fast as you can to match whatever it shows on screen. The later levels require you to solve a side into a different pattern multiple times to create a larger picture. The next mini game is Cube Crash. This is similar to Color Memory, where you have to turn the sides of the colors that fall down, but you don't have to turn the sides in the exact same order they come to you. As the game goes on, more colors fall down and you have to react much faster. Finally, out of the minigames, there is Cube Miner, my personal favourite. Here, you have a character on a piece on the cube on the screen, and you have to move that character around the cube on the screen using your physical cube, collecting coins and reaching the exit in the fewest moves possible. If you use too many moves to reach the exit, you will fail. Now, back to the last and most anticipated section of the Supercube app. The smart timer. Being able to have a timer that measures your speed in real time is insane. I was super impressed when I first tried this. On this page, you can either scramble the cube yourself or get given a scramble. The only problem with using the scramble they give is that for the double turns, you have to do them clockwise and not anti-clockwise, or it won't let you continue on with the scramble. Not a big issue, but just a bit annoying. That aside, once scrambled, you start when you're ready. No keyboard to press or timer to start. Just start turning and the app will automatically start. When finished, all the information about the solve you would want is available for you. Tap the menu icon to find your time, number of moves and turns per second along with your solution. Tapping analysis, you will find out the time, number of moves, TPS and percentage of the solve each step of your solve was, assuming you use CFOP. Basically, the app reconstructs the solve for you. And going into stats, you'll find your list of times just like a normal timer. As far as I know, the Gaiki Cube has brought revolutionary technology into cubing. Being able to know exactly how your solve went allows for a much easier analysis of your solving style and technique. You'll be able to find out what aspects of your solve you need to improve on, which I think is a great thing.
check out the Geica Supercube i3s at speedcube.com.au. There will be a link in the description to where you can purchase this super cool cube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.